two, one. <laughs> Somehow, the arrow found a way between the shafts. That was a beautiful but, shot. But, but don't have a split arrow. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh. That was a good one. Another test, and this time, a partial split. <laughs> that is the best so Down far. here, right here. Now. Just fill off this bottom one. Ah, uh, see? Three, two, one. <laughs> that was a good shot. Grant's rig is right on target, but still no Robin Hood. Just a growing pile of kindling. Three, two, one. There's another big piece. Got a little bit of a split here. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. But, you know, still not a Robin Hood. Tori thinks the amount of kinetic energy being delivered to the target might be too great. I don't know, I'm just thinking that this might be too powerful and it's just splintering them instead of actually splitting them. The solution? Move the rig back. But now the wind is becoming a factor and they're not hitting what? anything. Well, gosh darn it. <laughs> this myth is fast becoming one ye old pain in the arrow shaft. Makes you wonder how they did it in the movie, doesn't it? We had to move the rig inside because it turns out the wind is really becoming a factor with these arrows and it's our accuracy is totally off. So we've moved everything inside and we're gonna try this experiment again. Our current thinking is that there's too much kinetic energy. One of two possibilities is our fired arrow comes in and hits a target arrow and just shatters it. The other possibility, and this is Tori's theory, is that the fired arrow comes in and hits a target arrow, which flexes, and it doesn't allow us to get a clean shot down the middle. So hopefully, by reducing the amount of velocity, we can reduce the kinetic energy and get a clean split right down the middle. Still nothing. We've given up, obviously from any distance, we're not getting the accuracy that we need in order to split the arrow. We're gonna take accuracy out of the equation and move into the end of an arrow. We're gonna put the machine right on it, fire it, and see if that is able to split an arrow. They set up for a point blank shot. Will the target split, or might Tori be on the lookout for a new bow? There's a minor possibility we might break Tori's bow, but the producer has agreed to buy Tori a new bow. Three, Everyone two, takes cover. One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that happened. All right, well, there, this is it's split it around six inches. Looks like there could be a split in the build team as well. Guys, in my mind, this is busted. I mean, I, there's no way anybody's going to be able to do this on command if we're right up against it with every possible accuracy established. I just, I, I'm thinking this is busted right here, personally. Now they're splitting hairs. Well, the only problem is that how we define it is, is it possible? Right. We didn't add the on-demand part. Yeah, but it, that is the myth. I mean, he has to be able to do it one right after the other. Otherwise, it's it's just a fluke. It's possible. It is fluke. a fluke. It, you On know, a fluke, but that's but not the myth. On a fluke, that's just, that, that's just silly. I, I think it's too soon to call it busted. I think it is possible. Maybe it's not, but I just think it's too soon to call it busted. I, I'm willing to give it another shot, but uh, you guys are going to have to prove to me that this is possible on demand for me to actually personally feel it's confirmed or plausible whatsoever. Back in the days of yore, at the Tulare County Renaissance Fair, 16 noble archers have accepted the Mythbusters challenge. Whomsoever can split a wooden arrow from knock to tip shall claim the coveted golden arrow. Each contestant gets three shots. When that doesn't work, they all fire in formation. I didn't 
see any splitting arrows. The target's got more bristles than a porcupine, but there's still not a split arrow in sight. How many of you have done it before? Hi. I've done, I've done it. Some archery, you mean? Yeah. No. Do no. I split the arrow? Not splitting all the way down. Not all the not way all down, all down, down the head. I mean, half, and we we'll only got halfway. Travis Fletcher is master of an archery guild whose members shoot at Renaissance fairs all over the state. He has his own ideas about the origin of the myth. The splitting of the arrow was actually more likely an archery game that was used in order to train the archers. It was called slisting the wand, where the, uh, uh, an arrow would have been set as a vertical target, either in the ground or against a tree. Uh, and then the archers would have attempted to split the arrow or slist the arrow with theirs. We came here to see if any archer could split an arrow and it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Yeah, you know what, I'm starting to think that this is impossible. Looks like we're gonna have to take the golden arrow home with us. Oh, that's too bad. And we are locked and loaded. Back at Mythbuster HQ, they're still trying to split an arrow. It took less time to split the atom. And three, two, one. Once again, they've got arrow and target shaft touching. Look at the angle. They just kind of carved it out. Tori and Grant study the high-speed shot. The, the blade of the arrow is just basically following the grain of the wood and just popping out where it ends. Yeah, also I see that the arrow is kind of flexing on impact. Yeah, maybe what we should do is make a channel so that way the, the shooting arrow follows that all the way down the target arrow and it has no chance of moving. Right, they're like totally aligned and then as it goes through, you get a straight split, yeah. Okay. Some might call it thorough. Some might call it cheating. Grant fashions a thin tube that encases both arrow and target, holding them in exact alignment. Hopefully, the arrow will be guided all the way along the target shaft, splitting it right down the middle. Three, two, one. They try a copper tube. Three, two, one. They try carbon fiber, but nothing can stop that arrow from following the grain. So as far as I'm concerned, with all of our testing, which I believe was extremely thorough, I'm calling this one busted. You cannot split an arrow from the tail to the tip, and unless somebody can come out of the woodworks with either a video or does it right in front of my eyes, on command, one after the other, I'm saying this is busted. I'm totally with you. Busted. Busted with a capital B.